Kara and I are at the Ethel M Chocolate Factory in Vegas, not for the chocolate, but for the amazing landscaping they have with the Christmas lights, the holiday lights here. And we're gonna do a photo session here because it's just this amazing photography location. We're using an A7 S2, which can basically see in the dark. It's so sensitive to light that I could make, I'm gonna show this right now. I'm gonna, can you, can you see that? on her. Okay, I'm going to change this. That's too bright. That's like daylight. I brought a flash just in case. This is a AD200 with a, a little portable uh, octopop. And this is too bright. Even all the way down at 1 1 28th of a second, this is still too bright. Unless I uh, flash it off, bounce it off of something. But anyway, I'm going to take some pictures with a cell phone light. Some with this and some with nothing but the ambient light that's coming off the lights. Again, this is a Sony A7S II, which can basically see in the dark, <laughs> and a Zeiss 85 Batis 1.8. That's all I'm using. I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna just hold the light with one hand and the camera in the other. I'm not even going to focus because this lens is so good at auto-focusing. I'm just gonna like hold it like this and take pictures. That's all I'm gonna do. So uh, come on along and we'll have a great photo session at the Ethel M Chocolate Factory. In Las Vegas. Yeah. Okay, so first we're gonna take some pictures using nothing but a cell phone as a light. So hold the cell phone on her. Here we go. That's just a cell phone light. That's all that is. And I'm gonna take a picture with nothing but that. So let's do a couple with this. Nice. This is amazing how little you need to take great pictures. I don't even have to focus because the camera is really good at that. That was a good one. It's amazing how some people have this really expensive equipment because it makes them feel like they're professional. I'm showing you how you don't need a lot of really expensive equipment to take great pictures. So again, cell phone. That's all we're using here. <laughs> so here we go. Ready? Autofocus. Click. Look at that. This 85 is amazing. It's the fastest focusing lens. Nothing beats Zeiss. And Sony paired with Zeiss, it's like a match made in heaven. That's a cell phone light and you're good to go. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna use the Glow 24 inch Instapop, whatever it's called, with my Godox Flashpoint 200, which is too much, it's too bright. The reason I'm not using a little LED light that's on all the time in here is because there's a lot of people and it would be too distracting and it's not cool to ruin the experience for them. So a flash is no big deal. I'm at ISO 16,000. This thing can actually go up to, what is that here? 102, wow. 409,000 ISO. No other camera can do that. I mean, look at that. It's like daylight, it's too bright. This is like, it's pitch black out with nothing but Christmas lights on. And I'm at ISO 400,000. 400, <laughs> it's like, you're looking, it's like, this is probably why cats can see like, anyway, so I gotta dial it down to like, well, I either go 8 thousandths of a second to make it work. With the flash, it's still too bright for the foreground, but you have to adjust your AS, AS, ASA, ISO, and your shutter speed. I'm keeping the f-stop always at 1.8. So right now, I don't even need a flash, but that's not too bad. It's still too bright. But, so I'm gonna use a car headlight now. There's hundreds of people parking here and cars are coming in every few seconds. So I'm gonna use a car headlight now as my light source. I have probably three seconds to take the picture, but it looks pretty good when a car headlight is on her face. So here, here comes some cars. Here, here we go. As soon as the car hits her face, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna use the flash now, but since it's too bright, I'm gonna bounce it off that tree up there, just the branches. I'm gonna bounce it off that canopy of branches because if I aim it right at her like this, it's gonna be too bright. Uh, I'm shooting 1 60th of a second, uh, ISO 2500, F1.8. And I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna bounce it right off the tree here. That's good right there. I 
You notice I'm not aiming this at her. I'm aiming it above her head. So it's bouncing off the tree canopy up there. And it's coming out pretty good. Nice and soft. It's like having a, a white ceiling. And I daylight balance for when I'm using a, a, a flash. And I tungsten balance when I'm just running off the reflected lights from the lights, because the lights are basically tungsten. So here we go. And the flash is at the lowest power that it can go. Just think if I had an LED light on all the time, it would be really annoying and distracting right now. Why don't you stand right there in front of that rock? I'm gonna use this canopy up here to reflect the light. That's one thing about shooting in public places is you gotta wait for people to go by all the time. But that's usually the really best places to shoot. There's usually a lot of people there. So it's part of the photography world is to be respectful of others. And be patient because you can't just, it's not just you. All right, here we go. And you usually have like literally just a few seconds to take pictures before the next people come through. That was good. We literally have like only time to take four pictures. Bam, 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 bam. And then you got to wait like another five minutes. <laughs> Let me try this cell phone. Let's do some with that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wow. Just by changing the white balance, you can get different looks. So watch this. I'm going to change the white balance to daylight. And now she's suddenly more warm colored. This is taken with a cell phone light. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't work all the time, but sometimes it's amazing just using... I'm hungry now. <laughs> okay, I guess it's time to go eat somewhere. All right.